I just want to take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this rifle is. Guys, gentlemen, the time has finally arrived. Shaw, Mark 7, 7 by 57 in case you can't see it so well. So here we have it, basically my replacement rifle for my old model 1893 Spanish Mauser. So I got the walnut stock, stainless steel barrel, 26 inches, which, yeah, it's, that is on the long side, but remember, with my old Milsurp, uh, Milsurp uh, rifle, that was 29 inches, so I wanted something that was going to be ballistically similar, but, you know, that's a whole nother discussion. So I placed on it, I have this uh, Bushnell Nitroscope, uh, so Korean glass, assembled in... America, good old USA, and uh, really what it is, it is a semi-custom Savage 110 model. Burp, burp. All the various accoutrements will look rather familiar. Uh, the safety down there as indicated by my thumb, uh, bolt release and all the other fun stuff. So what do we have out here? I'm reusing this old box and the old rack, but it's my old Norma brass because we're still kind of breaking in the barrel, but also I did take this out before. I have sighted it in, but down there, 100 yards, there we go, now that I'm not being blinded by the sun, there's our target. We're going to do... Some more sight again, basically, but I'm more interested to see if the cold bore affects anything, because every rifle, every barrel is different, and as well as see how well we can actually shoot this thing. I am going to be going for accuracy, although this is not any sort of tuned-in load. I want to make that known. This is just 40 grains of IMR Enduron 4451. So it's, uh, it's, I think, the minimum load for the 168 grain Nosler Custom Competition. These, however, are my old Norma brass. They've been neck turned. These have survived about 20 firings, and I don't anneal. So these are pretty much at the end of life um, while well, resizing. I mean, you'll notice I only have 10 shots here, technically 11. And then these two, I think they're both, yeah, PPU. Those are just oddballs that I want to load up as well, so those are more just for funsies. So let's, let's get to it. Oh, before I forget, I mean, I already mentioned that this thing, semi-custom uh, Savage 110, basically what makes it semi-custom is they make the barrel for you, for you and uh, they actually do the old school, they don't use the Savage system of... Um, a uh, barrel nut or what have you, kind of like uh, what an AR-15 has. It's uh, drilled and tapped just like uh, the, the old school way of putting in a barrel. Um, but also, glass bedding. They give, uh, you have the standard AccuTrigger, but I think they set it to a pretty light mode. It is, it, like, I'm used to military triggers where it's like a four pound pole. This is at most a two pound pole. It's, to me, like, when I was sighting it in, I actually accidentally squeezed off a couple rounds, because, like, I just, I was just getting a feel for it, and, um, god, so basically all the, uh, oh, free-floated barrel, of course, so all the various things you can do at home to either sporterize or accuratize a rifle, they already do at their shop, along with making your own barrel, and basically, uh, making the action to, uh, I don't want to say to your specifications, but making your own custom action, because not many manufacturers make 7x57 anymore. So, I thought it was well worth uh, the purchase, especially since I already have all the materials, dyes, and brass to, uh, to do that. Anyway, so now let's actually get to shooting. So here we are at 100 yards, and uh, 
one, two, three, four, basically a half inch. Then the fifth one over there. <laughs> so we have a flyer. Um, whether that's me or the load, I mean, it doesn't matter. Still basically about an inch group at 100 yards. I have five more shots. Five. Uh, let's go ahead and put those on paper. Let's see how well they do. And the barrel is barely hot, by the way. It's uh, I touched it and it was, like I said, barely warm. Um, that's basically it. So, yeah. Uh, and this, by the way, this was not the uh, first shot. The first shot was within this group. This was the second or third shot. So in other words, uh, the barrel warming up doesn't really seem to be too big of a factor. Here you go, all 10 shots, and you can see I got three out of the 10 that are kind of flyers. And um, I felt every single one was a good uh, shot. Uh, actually, that's a lie. Um, I did have one where the pull of the trigger, again, it got me. Uh, but much to my surprise, it's a part of this group. So all the ones, all these bad shots, we'll go ahead and say, I felt were still good. So I'm willing to say it's because it's an untuned load. Uh, the importance of having a uh, proper sample size, right? So what we'll do, we'll actually work up a load. We'll see how this compares. I'm betting that on our bad loads, and when I'm having a good shooting day, this is about what you're going to see for a bad group size. Probably a little bit bigger, but pretty close to it. And then when uh, when things are good, when things are true, we're going to get more like this, a half inch. So, I'm very happy with this. Uh, I, I'm uncertain as to my own capabilities as a shooter to do better than half MOA. If I could do uh, a quarter MOA, I would be probably genuinely surprised with myself. But that is part of the reason why I bought this rifle. We're gonna we're gonna take it to the limit. We're gonna see how well we can do. And also, um, I forgot to mention that scope is uh, the maximum power is 20 power. Uh, I don't wanna say I'm only using 16 because 16 power for 100 yards it's kind of overkill, but still 16 power, 100 yards. Uh, I have those uh, random cartridges left, the two that are uh, par uh, yeah, PPU, Parvy Partisan, and then the other one that is Norma as well. I remember what was different about that. It's not neck turned, so we're going to see how that affects things. I'm going to mark off the outliers at least, and I'm going to shoot them again. So I'll shoot the target again. This one is the Norma that didn't have neck turned uh, case necks. You know what I'm saying. Uh, the two pervy partisan shots went up there. So even though all the same load, 40 grains of uh, IMR Enderon 4451, still pretty close in the same area. And uh, that's like two inches at most. I know it's a little bit less than, but yeah. So this gun is a shooter. wonder how many people are going to yell at me because I just called it a gun. <laughs>